be serious here, all kidding aside, this is a serious channel. We don't like humor. Well, as some of you learned in some of the previous uh, episodes that we put out, but I go out to South Dakota every year to dig dinosaur bones. And I'm not kidding about that. I actually literally go out and dig dinosaur bones for a week or two at a time. It's one of my hobbies. So you're probably wondering, okay, what has that got to do with me? Or what has that got to do with bison? Or what has that got to do with your channel? Well, nothing, really. However, on my way out there, I just happened to have to drive by the Badlands, well, technically through it, depending on which road I go. So I figure on my way out there, I'm going to stop and get some good video of the bison herds out in the Badlands National Park. And, of course, share it with you guys. But on top of that, I'm also going to take a day and stop at the 777 Bison Ranch in Custer County, South Dakota. We got an invitation to stop by their ranch and take a tour. And they said we could film along the way, so we're going to share that with you guys as well. So I'm going to be gone about a week, which means you might see a gap between this video and the next video. Thor isn't too handy with a camera, and Piper, she doesn't have opposable thumbs, so she's not too good on a computer or anything else, really, for that matter. But we'll get those out to you guys as quick as we can. In the meantime, we hope you enjoy this video. And if you haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe button down below. It shows your support and helps motivate us to make more videos. And plus, I like the shotgun sound it makes, so that's that's kind of cool. So in the meantime, we got some chores to do around this place. It's a little bit windy out today, so I apologize if the sound isn't that great. I won't know what it's like till I get inside and uh, put it on the computer, but uh, hopefully my little microphone is working. So for chores, the first thing we're going to do is take care of the chickens. Not that we have a particular order of how we do the animals, but in this case, chicken coop just happened to be right next to where I'm filming. First things first, let's just start and see if we have any eggs in here. Oh, we do. Oh, okay. Alright, might need two hands. Well, oh, maybe not. And they got some grass stuck to them, but that's not bad for one day. The larger ones are from the, you know, some of those orange chickens, those small ones like that, those are from the English hens. So it's not bad, though, for today. When I open up the chicken coop, I open it up and put the doors like that for a reason. So that way the chickens aren't going in and trying to dig in the bags and the feed and, and making a mess on that side. Because if we go in here and look, see, this is where we keep our feed. So we have a mix of what we give our chickens and ducks. We got crumble like this and scratch greens like this. A little bit more there. That'll keep them happy for a while. Now come nighttime when we lock everybody up for the night. We'll put this in the coop with them. Otherwise, the raccoons come out at night, and by morning, everything will be gone. Well, there's one of the females right now. That's Jane. I call her the grouse because she looks like a grouse, and believe it or not, she can actually fly. She's the only one of the chickens that goes up in the treetops. You can see what they're doing with their bills there where they get the water where it collects. That's how we end up with these little divots all over our lawn. Ducks. <laughs> <laughs> 